Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's SolidWorks Sheet Metal Quick Tip, we're gonna try to answer the question, what's a good default sheet metal K factor to input when you're defining the flat pattern of your SolidWorks sheet metal designs. Now, I'll give you a little hint. I left a clue on the screen here somewhere in this intro screen. So if you look around the screen, you should be able to find a clue here, and we're gonna explain what that clue is at the end of the video. But before we can answer the question of what is a good default K factor to use, we have to talk about what K factor is in sheet metal. Now I made a video about this a couple of months ago and I'll include a link down below to that video. But basically what happens is when you're working in SolidWorks sheet metal or in sheet metal in the real world, this bend here on the inside is going to compress and this bend here on the outside is going to stretch. And because of that, you can't really just take the length of this arc or the length of the inside arc and use that to dictate what the flat pattern should be. Instead, you have to come up with some kind of a calculation as to what's happening with that deformation in the corners. Well, when we use K factor to perform that calculation, what we're doing is we're taking some kind of a ratio into the material and calculating the length of that arc at that ratio. So let me show you what I mean here by starting out by going into a flat pattern on the sheet metal part. Now, this question actually came from a student in my sheet metal training class that we held a couple of weeks ago, and we're gonna be holding that class again in a couple of weeks live here, or live via web meeting with me, a certified SolidWorks expert, to guide you through the training and answer any sheet metal questions you have. So if you are looking to get some good sheet metal fundamentals training, this is a great place to go. Take a look down below in the description for the information about that training class. So we can see over here that one of the things we talk about in that training class is the ability to edit the flat pattern feature. We expand this folder here and we right mouse button and say edit feature. And once we get in here to the flat pattern, we can say that we don't want to merge the faces in the flat pattern. Now, when the faces are all merged, that's very useful when you're exporting this design to a DXF to go out to a plasma cutter or water jet or some type of a manufacturing tool. However, if you're trying to troubleshoot what's going on in the bend regions, it's often useful to edit this feature and uncheck this option for merge faces. Because now we see that in the flat pattern, we've got an explicit face representing the bend region flattened out. So what is the length of that bend region? Well, currently, if I pick this edge, hold control and pick this edge, and then look down here in the status bar, currently the length of that flat region is 0.491 inches. Well, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the sheet metal feature, right mouse button, edit feature, and I'm gonna see that I'm using K factor to calculate what that bend region is gonna be in the flat. And the K factor I'm using is 0.5. Well, let's change that to 0.333. And we hit the green check mark. And now we see here that if we look at this bend region and we click on this edge and hold control and click on this edge here, and then we look down here in the status bar, now we see that that distance is 0.458. So it changed, it was 0.491, now it's 0.458. So why did it change? Well, when we're calculating the K factor of a bend, what we're really doing is we're taking a ratio into the material, and then we're taking this arc length and we're calculating that arc length. So if we were to use a K factor of 0.5, what we would be doing is offsetting this inner edge here by one half of the material thickness. So if this sheet metal is two millimeters, then that would be an offset of one millimeter. If we were using a K factor of 0.3, 333, then this arc length here would be an offset of two millimeters times 0.333, or it would be an offset of 0.666. And so that's how you calculate the location of the arc. And then you take the flat length of that arc and that becomes the distance or the flat length of that bend region. And so hopefully that makes sense. And now you can see why that, that K factor change also changed the length of the model in the flat. Changing that K factor is changing the location of this arc and the location of that arc unfolded is gonna determine what the flat region of that bend becomes. So the nice thing about K factor is that it is very versatile. And what I mean by that is you're not relying on all of your bends having the same radius 
or all of your bends having the same angle. For example, if I were to create a new edge flange here, so let's say we jump into a new edge flange here and we say this edge flange is gonna use a non-standard radius. We're gonna use 0.75 for the radius and it's gonna use a non-standard angle. We'll make this angle say 60 degrees. Well, because we're working with K factor, we're still gonna get a valid flat pattern because the K factor is just gonna offset in here by 0.333 offset from that inner edge. And then we're gonna take that arc length and we're gonna flatten it. And that is gonna give us a pretty nice result for our flat pattern. So one of the questions that came up when I taught my sheet metal training class a couple of weeks ago was, what should the default K factor be if we're not sure what to use? And I always answer my students by saying, just make it 0.333. That's a good K factor. If you use that, the team in the shop isn't gonna yell at you. You know, they might tell you to change it, but they're not gonna say that that is absurd. 0.333 is a pretty good way to go. But I was curious, and so during the class, we looked it up in ChatGPT, and here's what ChatGPT had to say. It said, the K factor in sheet metal is a ratio that represents how much the material stretches during bending, and it's defined by T over T, where T is the neutral axis from the inner bend surface, and T is the total material thickness, and you divide T over T, and that gives you your K factor. I usually describe it the other way around. I say you take K factor times the material thickness, and then that gives you the arc location for the unfolding, but we're saying the same thing here, just doing the equation in opposite directions. Then down below, there's some pretty useful information about how you get different K factors depending on what material you're using and also what the material thickness is. But here are some common K factors for some various materials. And then as we scroll down further, we see the answer to the question, if you're ever unsure, a default starting point for most materials is 42. 0 0.42 42 so if you're ever unsure what the answer is you could use a k factor of 0 0.42 that's a great starting point and of course this comes back to the beginning of the video where i said that there was a clue here somewhere on the screen and so of course i'm talking about one of my favorite stickers here on my bass guitar that shows that when you come together at the intersection of life the universe and everything you come to the number 42. It's a great lesson for us all to remember as we go through life. If you're ever not sure what the answer is and somebody asks you a question, you could always just try to answer 42. Maybe that'll be correct. A lot of times it is. So if you are in the market to learn more about sheet metal, if you're ready to learn all about the fundamentals of sheet metal and you wanna take one of the most epic SolidWorks sheet metal training classes ever written, be sure to take a look down below in the description. We've got our sheet metal training class coming up in a couple of weeks. Of course, leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you learned anything cool from this video. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next SolidWorks sheet metal quick tip.